the micro fevers here and i wanted to do a little review on what i got um i didn't want to build a micro so i went ahead and ordered a baby baby hawk for an emax um it's simple i mean all you need is the xm receiver mm -hmm. and i thought it was something cheaper i mean to kind of go into the whole micro without investing that much unfortunately mine came with the camera uh, with a btx a little messed up I returned that to Team Legit and I'm still waiting on that. And while I was with the whole process of making it fly, fixing it, uh, Miguel from Mick, Mick by Squad, um, from the boys in Dallas, Dallas FPV actually, he sent me this frame. Now, he hasn't given me the correct name for it, um, but what I did is I modified my whole baby, baby hawk. Uh, gear I transfer it to this frame and I order myself a little micro uh, let me try to get that in frame there uh, let me see if I could get it in frame there you go so I order a little micro cam I ordered that from my uh, ready made RC and I got one of my old uh, BTX which is here let me take this off for you guys so that way you guys can see so when I bought the baby hog, I order the, they actually send the sell the batteries. They sell the Team Legit battery, 350 uh, milliamps, 90C. So I order the, the baby hog and the battery, and I went ahead and modified that. Uh, so thanks to Miguel, I got this little frame, and I transfer all the baby hog gear. Um, but I wanted to make something simple and less like bulletproof if you want to say I didn't want my camera to be breaking all the time and the whole clover leaf of the whole antenna issues so I went ahead and, and, and of course I did try with the 25 milliamps that it has uh, basically it's not flyable I mean you could fly with it not not as far um, so I wanted I wanted something stronger uh, that would take me a little far uh, so I went ahead and rig a linear antenna which is here let me try to get that in. So mm -hmm. okay, so I order. So I solder in a straight through antenna, which is this linear antenna here to the actual BTX. Okay, so I rig that there. Okay, and I transfer pretty much everything. Um, Ten dollar camera, and all BTX, and it's flyable. Uh, I'm gonna post a video. Well, I'm gonna post a video after on how it flies. It handles awesome. I mean, I do love the way it handles. I'm basically putting my son to practice uh, with something like this without breaking, <laughs> without breaking the bank. Uh, but it's, it's it's something different. I mean, at least for the gear, which was $100, um, it's a little heavier than the original frame, which is something you know like this. But if you if you already have the gear and wanna do something better to your baby hawk, uh, I mean I would recommend getting a different frame. In this case, this frame flies much better. Uh, it is a little heavier, but it handles it handles pretty well. I mean at least uh, uh, I didn't have to tune it. Um, there's some pits you have to see. I could put that in. I mean if you need them, let me know. Comments on them. Uh, but that's what I did. I pretty much rig the flight controller straight through the base, uh, BTX, and battery on top. And the camera is well protected, so when you actually hit hit something, uh, I mean, you're saving the camera compared to the other way that the camera is. Um, I don't like flying it indoor. I think it's a little fast to fly indoor. You gotta get used to it. I did gave a little angle there let me see if I could give you that um, to try to fly, fly fast but it's something different now before I leave you with that video of that um, the bigger frames uh, now I'm trying he said he basically sent me his um, stretch, stretch X arm he has them in carbon fiber which is this or and actually take five. look at that thickness that or you could do the G10. G10 which is similar to carbon fiber. It holds pretty good. I mean I've been flying his frame for a while now and I do I haven't 
probably uh, broken like three through four arms uh, so they are replaceable and I like I like his play I mean GoPro was in here antenna so it's something different but apart from that you know playing with the big ones having the little micro is, is, is I mean it's just open doors to you know fly anywhere without somebody actually telling you anything or scaring people away so either way guys enjoy it and i'll put more information about this frame in the description up below uh, let me know subscribe any questions post them Ready to take off, go ahead. Adam, are you ready? 